Hi everyone, it's Helen here from The Coffee Apple and today I'm working with Amanda and Amanda has been creating and we just recently got this set in. It's called Hay Clay and it comes in lots of different designs. So Amanda has been playing with the birds today and this is the set for the birds. It does come in animals and monsters and aliens and individuals, but there's quite a few different designs available as well as a few individual packs. Now, I set Amanda a task today of, do you know what? Let's see what it's like to work with, how easy it is, and see what she comes up with. All right, Amanda, your thoughts? Um, well, it's called air dry clay and it, I, it's Were not, you surprised? I was. It's not, when I think of clay, I think of pottery and ceramics, but it's, it's more, um, you can see the consistency there. It's, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. It's almost like a whipped foam sort of consistency. Oh, so not quite, not slime. No, not slime. Not blue tack. Not blue tack. Not, not putty. putty. But it's definitely not like a ceramic clay that you may have had an air drive before that yep. we have sold before. But yeah, it's very um, pliable. It's not sticky. It's quite smooth. And what I've found is, um, yeah, it does after a while, as you can see, I've done these ones a couple of hours ago and they've already started to set. To set. Now you did say that when you're working with them, you do have to put the lid on them. So if you get distracted and you walk away, it's likely to form a skin on the top of it. Yeah, it just gets a bit, um, I found obviously, cause it's not like normal clay where you would wet it and adhesive, you know, stick it all together. Yeah. Um, I was sort of serving customers and came back to it and because it had been sitting out for a little while, it had started to get a bit hard. So, yeah, if you have to break and stop and, you know, or you've got a heater on nearby or in a hot environment, just, just put the lid back on Yep. while you're going because otherwise you don't want to come back and then it started um, air drying just like it's supposed to. Yeah. So, anyway... So you've got on here the peacock, which is where you're at at the moment, because yep. we've got the toucan has been done. They look amazing. And that's the box there. And I've got to say, your representation is fantastic. And I'm going to guess, because you've been really impressed with the app. Yeah. So basically in the kit, you get all of the containers. So yes. you get the 15 cans of all the colours that you need. You get the sculpting tools, which is has all different points and knives and little and it, gives you basically um, directions and on the box the directions are very clear now you don't need to be able to write to do this so it is recommended for three plus that said three plus obviously you're going to get different results to Amanda yes. um, <laughs> ooh, and it does give you yeah clear yes. indications Not on how it's used yet. so basically it doesn't come with a booklet instructions like it is basically an app um, which is, is yeah so when you open up your kit you get your tools you get your that and you get this little welcome to hay clay and you get a unique barcode um, and what you do is you load up the hay clay app on your iPad or wherever whichever device, whichever you're device using. you have and basically you set it up, you can log in through an account or you can just log on, you scan your code and then basically you're away. So if we were going to complete this, um, this bird that you're working on here, yeah. what do you need to do? Okay, so we've got the birds open because that's the kit we've got. So we're going to click on the birds. I'm up to the peacock. So when you click on it, it's, it's, so it's fun. It's animated, it it's fun. So I'll click on the peacock. First thing it tells me, is I need eight. It says what tubs colors. you need. Exactly. So out of all the tubs, I'm like, okay, I need all of these colors. And then we push start and then it starts off with the tail. Now, I don't know if you can see here, but it shows you the size of a children's hand. So it's pretty well almost a one-to-one -one scale on the iPad. And it shows them how to roll it together with, but then I guess the size of the ball that you're suggesting what you're working on depending upon how large you want your um your bird to be yeah, it doesn't actually specify size but what i've done to make these is i've used this as my size so i've rolled the ball held it to the screen and gone yep that's about the same and so these have been made to the same proportion as what's on the screen so but 
I've hardly used any of the clay at all. Yeah, so. look how much you've got to work with. Oh, heaps. And you're on your second last bird right now. Yeah. So unlike lots of kits, they give you enough just to make what's on the front. And yep. That's it. Where this one, I've made nearly all of them, and I've only just touched some of the tubs. And so. then, and then you can make your own things as well. Yeah. yeah all exactly. Right. What, okay. What was so, the next step that you've done? So. The tail, which is around things. So basically it shows you, okay, we've done a ball. Now it's showing me I had to flatten it. Yep. So it's very, very well described. And then. So in other words, they don't have to say, mom, what do we have to do next? No, they just push the next button. Then and it, it shows me it where it goes. Next. Right. Okay. We're onto the spots. Shows me basically what? this is the size I need to roll it to. And it says what color? How many I need. Oh, that is so cool. Push the next button. Then it tells me, all right, now you've got to flatten them. So you use your thumb and you flatten them. And so it just basically goes through step by step and then where to place them. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, so and the good thing I discovered by accident. So if I'm in the middle of placing them and I'm thinking, oh, am I putting it in the right spot? Have I left enough room for the head? If you touch the screen... It brings up the final product. Oh, as well it, as all the parts. As all the parts. Up. So if I'm halfway through it and I think, oh, I haven't really left enough room for this bit or this bit, I just touch the screen uh, and it takes me to the end result and then take my finger off, takes me back to where I was. It's amazingly interactive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's great. Oops, sorry, little birdie. So then we just keep going. Same again. It shows you how to roll. Some of them are flat and some of them are... And if you want to skip ahead, you just push. Yeah, just keep going. Keep going. Oh, because we're adding all our spots on yes, now. adding the spots, which is something I prepared earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's this is good, though, because it doesn't just skip through it. It goes through everything, shows you how to flatten them and then where they go. But, I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like, mine's not exactly the same. That's pretty close. Pretty close, but not exactly the same. And then it shows you how to do the feet. Now, I remember when we first got these in, you're like, oh, I don't know. It's not, you know, it's not going to look like the box is, but I've got to say you have done. Oh, I think being, being animated and, you know, you can see it a lot of, I've made a lot of crafty things in my day and flat booklets, you don't see that dimension. Yeah. So you think, you think it's right. And then it's like, oh, but the good thing with this is because you can see it. And then when you watch the end, when we get to the end, it actually rotates it around. So you can see what, you know, the back should look like and what the front should look like. That so, is so cool. Yeah. All so right. What stage are we now right. at? We are. So we're, this is the feet. So it actually shows you how to get the shape. So how to bend. You start with little... the ball, you roll it into a long sausage and then you turn it into a hook. The little feet. feet and then you push the next button and then it shows you where to put them. Oh. So yeah, it is, it is great. Ikea eat your heart out but um, <laughs> yeah and then it just goes on to the next stage then the body it shows you like we've got to make it into a cone so it actually shows you how to use your hands to turn it into the shape <gasps> and then it shows you okay we're gonna flatten the bottom oh. and then we're gonna put it in place but when we put it in place it flips so it actually shows you it takes the piece from there and, and drops it on. And drops it on so you can see exactly where it needs to go. So then we go to the wings, same again. How to get it into the shape. And then squash. Squash. And it's good. Once you've done a few of them, you get to know straight up, oh, I know how to make that shape. Yeah. Yeah. Same again. Pop it on. Yeah. And it tells you when the step's finished. But if you... If you want to go back, it's easy. You've got the triangle to go backwards as well. Oh. So, yep. Let me skip forward a bit more. And they're not expensive sets. No. No, for what you get in them. And it's not over and done with straight away. Like, no. you can work on this. And this is, I mean, I've been obviously working and serving customers, but this is this has taken a while. So it's not a quick five-minute spend a bit of money, throw it out in five minutes. No, so this, you're going to be coming back to this. Definitely. Like, you'll probably probably do one in each setting yeah and it, um, it teaches them too that okay once you've done a few all right this is how i make eyeballs this is how i make a body then they can create their own their own animals their own birds dinosaurs 
and there are a lot of different sets so i have put the link up so people will be able to see all the different sets that are available and it's anything from aliens to monsters to um right, farm animals and to. dinosaurs so I'm all right to the hairdo so i have to make and now this is is tiny so you might be able to see but i've got to make three little 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 balls so i'm trying to do it the same as the screen whether or not that happens while amanda is looking at those i'm going to scroll that's the bird one that amanda's working on at the moment and then we've also got this one here which i think look absolutely amazing love the monsters next step what do i have to do now i have to turn it into what i call a little carrot <laughs> so i'm just rolling one little end which you could use your tools as well, but I find your fingers fine. Oh, roll that one. They are. This is probably the smallest bit I've done all day, but. <laughs> and I've got big old fingers, so the kids will be fine. Okay, so so it's good to have a nice clean, either a chopping board or a nice clean bench or a table try not to get anything that has got dust or anything on it because i found earlier a bit of dust got into it when i was rolling okay so the next step we got to put the oh. hairdo on <laughs> all right so this is going to be fiddly because i've got big fingers i'll do it this way so you can use the tools to help you if you want to do a bit of repositioning. Get it into position a bit better. And as I said, it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the future. One more. That is so cute. This one's not in the way. Okay, let's go. Oh, so little. All right. Sorry, Helen. Do I know? <laughs> it's always when you're filming, nothing works. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's going just fine. Here we go. <gasps> oh, he's got so attitude. We push that, and it's ready. Oh! <laughs> So now it does a little dance and a little... Oh, it's even the beats going, hello! <laughs> yeah. So, it's, yeah. Uh, these, I think these are going to be really popular at Christmas. Yeah, so definitely. Oh, take that off. There and you go. Yeah, so that is the hay clay. Hay clay. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's just out of drive. Yeah. And look, it's got a great little set. It's going to keep them entertained for quite a while. They're going to keep coming back to it. They can make the designs that are in the box. They can get creative. Um, <laughs> look at that one. Hello there. <laughs> and there are quite a few different designs to choose from, but the, the instructions, Hey Clay has done an absolutely amazing yep. job. You certainly won't be disappointed. And it does have sound. I've just had the sound off because of being in the shop, but it yep. does have sound as well. Yeah. Although, depending upon how quiet you want your house told, you may or may not show your children that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that is a perfect one to finish on. Yep. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love this set as much as we do. Amanda, you have done a brilliant job, but these will be on display in our front window for the next week. If you are local, you are welcome to come down and have a bit of a closer look and let us know what you think. All right, guys, have a great day and we'll catch you all online. Bye.